Illiterati is a real-time cooperative word game for one to five players. You and your team of librarians must work together against the Illiterati to save the world from illiteracy, one word at a time. To win, each player must complete one red book and one blue book. Setting up Illiterati is easy. First, separate the book decks and the Illiterati villain deck. Then, deal one red book to each player face up. Next, place three tiles in the middle to create the communal area known as the library. Finally, deal a starting hand of five tiles face down to each player. You're now ready to play Illiterati. Each round is played in three phases. The first phase is word building. You and your team will draw new letters, form words, and most importantly, survive. To begin, each player draws seven tiles. Once everyone has their tiles, start the timer and begin forming words. A few things to remember. One, you won't always be able to form words related to your book. That's okay. The important thing is that you make words however you can. Two, you can also break up your words and rearrange your letters at any time. Three, don't forget, you may also move letters and even entire words freely amongst yourselves. Four, if you're not using a letter, move it into the library so that one of your teammates can use it. Now, let's talk about the library. The library is a communal area that anyone can take from and add to. But make sure your team doesn't have more than three letters in the library when time's up. If you do, you'll need to burn one of the extra letters. The next phase is book binding. First, check everyone's words to make sure they're valid. Valid words must be from a dictionary, at least three letters long, and normal, for lack of a better word. However, you can break all those rules if your word matches your book's objective. Now that you've checked your words, it's time to see if you burned any letters. If you have any unused letters, invalid words, or misspelled words, move them into the library. If the number of letters in the library exceeds the library limit, your team must burn one of the extra letters. If you fill up the burn tracker, that means the illiterati have taken over the world and you lose. Next, salvage what's left by choosing the letters you want to keep. We're now ready for the bookbinding phase. First, turn in the words that meet your book's requirements by placing them into the discard bag. For example, in order to bind Mammal Menagerie, you need to spell animals using at least eight letters. Additionally, three of those letters must be clouds. All black tiles are wilds and can be any symbol. Some can also be any letter. Once you've bound a book, flip it over and draw a different colored book for the next round. The final phase is the Illiterati Attack. Draw an Illiterati villain and resolve its effect. As the game progresses, more villains will appear, but beware. If the same villain has already attacked, a chain attack is triggered, activating all of that villain's previous powers. Once the Illiterati attack phase is over, it's time to start a new round. Repeat the phases until everyone has bound two books. Once everyone has finished their books, your team is ready to move on to the final chapter. To complete the final chapter, draw one book from any book deck. All players must individually bind the final chapter during the same round. If even one player is unable to bind the final chapter, then everyone must wait until the next round to try again. If everyone completes the final chapter in the same round, you win the game. Welcome aspiring librarians to the world of illiterati. We'll see who has the final word. Looking for an added challenge? Try increasing the difficulty. Want to go head to head? Try playing our competitive mode, Librarian vs. Librarian. Thanks for playing.